In this video, we want to explore the difference between a change in quantity supplied and a change in supply. So let's begin by reviewing the difference between supply and quantity supplied. Recall that supply is a relationship between the price of a good and the quantity of the good that firms are willing and able to produce and sell. So the key word here is that supply is a relationship. And in order to illustrate a relationship, we need one of three tools. We need either a schedule or a table, a graph, we call that the supply curve, or a mathematical equation. You cannot represent a relationship with a single number. Rather, you have to have a set of numbers, either in the form of a, a schedule, a graph, or an equation. Now, notice that supply is a relationship between price and quantity, the quantity of a good that firms are willing and able to produce and sell. That quantity is referred to as the quantity supplied. That's the amount of a good or service that's offered for sale by a firm. Quantity supplied is represented by a number, a number of units produced by a firm. So here's a good example. Here we have a supply re relationship represented by both a supply schedule and a supply curve. Notice that at a price of $1, quantity supplied is zero. At a price of two dollars, quantity supplied is one hundred. At a price of three dollars, quantity supplied is two hundred. At a price of four dollars, quantity supplied is three hundred. That's point A on our supply curve. And point B is this combination of price of five dollars and quantity supplied of four hundred. So again, to illustrate supply, we need either a schedule or a table or a graph. We call that the supply curve. Quantity supplied is simply a number. At $4, quantity supplied is 300 units. Now that brings us to the, the topic at hand, the difference between a change in quantity supplied and a change in supply. So let's start with a change in quantity supplied. In our first graph, we see that at a price of $4, quantity supplied, again, is 300 units. If the price of the good were to rise from $4 to $5, we would move from point A to point B on the supply curve. At $5, quantity supplied is now 400. So a change in quantity supplied, a change in quantity supplied is caused by a change in the price. In this case, the price increases and we move along the supply curve from A to B and the result is an increase in quantity supplied from 300 to 400. So a change in quantity supplied is caused by a change in the price of the good. As the price of the good rises, quantity supplied increases. As the price of a good falls, for example, if the price were to fall to $3, we would see quantity supplied fall to 200. Now compare that with a change in supply. Let's suppose, let's suppose that something were to happen, for example, there were, was a, a technological innovation that results in increased productivity, reducing the firm's costs, allowing the firm to produce more. The result would be a change in supply, in particular, an increase in supply. How would we represent that? We would need to represent a change so that at every price, quantity supplied would be higher. That would be represented by a shift in the supply curve. So we would have a, a totally brand new supply curve. 
represented by this blue line, this blue supply curve. Notice here that at every price, at every price, quantity supplied is now higher. For example, at four dollars, at four dollars, quantity supplied before the shift was 300 units. Now, after the shift, after the increase in supply, it appears that quantity supplied is, well, something a little higher than 500 units. And this is true at every price. At every price, quantity supplied is now higher. So what we have represented here by this rightward shift in the supply curve, this is an increase, an increase in supply. Change the color to green, and we can also illustrate a decrease in supply. That would be a leftward shift in the supply curve, and that would look something like this. This green supply is it indicating a decrease in supply. Notice something that when we, when we describe changes in supply, we are thinking in terms of left and right. We're shifting the supply curve to the right to illustrate an increase in supply. We shift to the left to illustrate a decrease, a decrease in supply. So again, this is a decrease, a decrease in supply. So as a summary, a change in quantity supplied is represented by a movement along a given supply curve, along a given supply curve, and it's caused by a change in the price of the good. A change in supply is represented by a shift in the supply curve, an increase in supply is represented by a rightward shift, a decrease in supply represented by a leftward shift. And a change in supply is caused by a change in one of the determinants of supply, and there are several of those which will be discussed in other videos.